Hey guys, what's up? I am Sam, and welcome to my Origami Dojo. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fold an origami key, much like this one right here, and it will keep you from ever having to experience this ever again. Okay, so we're going to start with a sheet of kami. I'm using gray kami for greater realism, but you can use whatever color you want your key to be. Um, I'm using a 6 inch sheet, but you're going to want to use a larger one, especially on your first, first time. I can't talk today. Okay, so we're going to start by valley folding in half diagonally. And then let's unfold and fold in half in the other diagonal. Then we're going to unfold that as well, and we're going to turn the paper over and valley fold in half horizontally. Then unfold that and fold in half in the other direction. And then unfold, and what we're going to do now is fold both edges into the center of the paper. And rotate. Okay, and now what we're going to do is fold both edges out to the side, like this. So we're going to fold that up to the top there, line it up as perfectly as possible, rotate, fold the other edge up, turn over, fold both edges into the center again, one last time. And then unfold everything. And if your creases aren't sharp, like this one here is a little wimpy, what you're going to want to do is just fold that back up and then crease it. It really helps later on. Okay, and now we're going to do basically the same thing. So if you'd like, you can go back. If you don't remember how to do this, you can go back and watch the last few minutes. But I'm going to fast. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make a few more pre-creases. So what we're going to do is add valley fold so right here and right here. So I'm going to mark them in with pencil so you can see them better. Like this. So what we want to do is add a valley fold from this point to this point and just like that. And from this center point here to this edge here. And out like that. Okay, ready, set, let's go. So we fold that up to this point here, then crease only right here. And then we're going to fold this flap over to this line here. And crease once again, only where we want the crease to be. Just keeps the model cleaner for later on. And we're just going to fold one last time. And there, that's it for that. Now we can just get those pleats back into shape. Then we're going to rotate the paper so that those folds are on top. What we're going to do now is pinch along these two mountain folds, these two diagonals at the edge here, and then we're going to push up from underneath, bring that mountain fold out. Be careful not to tear your paper. And then push down here and push these diagonals down too. And just collapse inwards using your fingers to push up from behind and push down in front. And then we're just going to bring it all in. Like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take this edge here, this crease, and fold it up so that it lies along the top like that. And I recommend doing this on a hard surface. I'm just doing it up here so that you can see it. Don't want to fiddle around with the camera zoom or anything. Too lazy. And then we're going to just open that up. I, I find it helps if you keep a finger here just to keep that in place. Squash that down. Then we're going to open the paper up here and just tuck that inside. Right up to so that this point here meets that point there. Probably should have pre-creased that, but oh well. 
too late now, I guess, right? And we're going to just squash that back down, so we've just cut that flap in half. And we're going to do almost the same thing on the other side. So we're going to fold it up, crease, put our thumb in there, and squash it down. But this time, we're just going to take this flap and fold it up. Much easier. And now what we're going to do is bend the paper so that there are two unit squares between these creases like a goalpost, I guess. We could stop right here and play a nice game of table football and I will see you after the commercial break. No, just kidding. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take only this flap here and tuck it inside that opening there. And once we've done that, we're going to flip the paper over and then push down this protruding thing here and make sure these flaps stay locked together. And I'm going to flip over to the bottom again and then you can see that. So now we've locked our paper into place without using tape or glue. Pretty cool. I stole this from Jeremy Schaefer, by the way, so let's hope he doesn't take this video down in copyright grounds. Okay, now what we're going to do is pinch some mountain folds along existing creases here. So we're going to, ah, uh, let's see, just make sure that it's in a shape like this, some rectangular shape. You want these creases to be reasonably sharp, since if you're not using foil, it's not going to hold together very well. Now what we're going to do is fold this flap over, and we're just going to squash this up on the folds we made before. And then we're going to grab two flaps now. Let's see, one, and two, and fold them over squashing that up on a crease we already made and now what we're going to do is just take this flap here and fold it over just to shorten our key for aesthetic reasons if you're into all that artistic stuff okay then we're just going to fold these flaps down at an angle like a V and our key is done now you'll never be locked outside ever again. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial and that short, stupid action scene. But hey, if you enjoyed it, why not go ahead and subscribe and watch the other videos I've posted, which is just one right now. But hey, go ahead, I'm not stopping you.